Hi all, and thanks for watching. In this video, I just want to go over setting up your mod organizer with a different INI rather than its default INI. So if you're using the multi-core fix, this will show you how to switch the INI so that it will be using the multi-core INI rather than the standard MO INI when you install it. And I'll just actually place the files here. Um, from my download and just put the mod organizer in and I'll just go over that and show you how to switch that INI. So once you've placed your actual files in the game folder you want to run the mod organizer exe and it's going to ask you to create a profile here so I'll just call it FNV profile and say OK. And then you just want to close that, put on the automatic archive and validation, and close it. And then here you'll you'll have your settings screen. So what you want to do is actually close this right here, as it's already created the profile folder that you're going to need. So I'll just close that. And if you look in your game folder, now I'm using the GOG version of Fallout New Vegas which is found in C program files GOG Galaxy Games Fallout New Vegas if it were the Steam version you would find your games in this folder C program files Steam Steam Apps Common but anyways after you've created the profile and exited the mod organizer you want to go to the profiles folder that it creates right here and you want to open that up and open up your profile there and then you actually want to delete the tweet to follow INI and you want to take your replacement INI from whatever download you're using so in this case the multi-core and threading fix and you want to replace the other follow INI there and just move and replace it and that basically it sets you up with the alternate INI and you can go back and start up your mod organizer again and it will now have the new EXE loaded into it. Just set up the mod organizer, activate your mods, add your other mods and you'll find that it's running off the new INI for your game. Alright, so I hope that helps. If there's any questions, please let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care, and I'll talk to you again.